Good day, everyone. Greeting you from this end is your basic science teacher, Mrs. Otonye JP. Today, we are going to learn about energy and energy conversion. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to, one, define energy. Two, list the two kinds of energy. Three, explain at least five forms of energy. Four, state how energy can be converted from one form to another. And five, list the different devices used in energy conversion. Previously, we have learned what energy is as the ability to do work. Work is not just going out and coming in as we know, but it extends to all the activities that add life. We have the two major kinds of energy as the potential energy and the kinetic energy. Potential energy is the energy at rest, while the kinetic energy is the energy at work. We have other forms of energy. There are so many of them, but we can just mention a few, and they are A, mechanical energy, B, chemical energy, C, electrical energy, D, light energy, E, sound energy, F, wind energy, G, heat energy, H, solar energy, and others. What is this mechanical energy? Mechanical energy is a form of energy that causes a body to change its position. Example, running, walking, lifting of a load, or moving a load away from its original position. The daily exercises we do is part of a mechanical energy. Let's look at what chemical energy is all about. Chemical energy is a potential energy gotten from chemical compounds. What are chemical compounds? These are compounds as a result of mixture of two or more elements chemically combined together. Chemical energy is termed potential energy because on its own, it does not function except when converted. Chemical energy can be in form of nutrients. The nutrients here are the protein, the carbohydrates, fat and oil, mineral, vitamins, as we have learned during our previous <laughs> lessons in nutrition. Nutrients is not just the chemical energy. Petrol, kerosene, cooking gas, and other fractions of petroleum are as well examples of chemical energy. Sulfates, sulfides contained in battery are also form of chemical energy. These sulfates and sulfides are inorganic because they are produced in the laboratory. Why other forms are organic? Because they are naturally occurring. Chemical energy is not the only potential energy. Electrical energy is a potential energy too. It is gotten from electricity. Sound energy is a form of energy that is in hearing. While heat energy is a form of energy that raises the temperature of a system thereby affecting the rate of a particular reaction. Light energy is a form of energy that is vision, while wind energy is a form of energy that generates breeze. When I say breeze, I mean blowing air, air in motion, which helps breathing, that is the inhalation and exhalation. Remember, Inhalation is the taking in of oxygen, while exhalation is the removal of 
carbon four oxide. So from this, we have known the importance of wind energy in our life. Solar energy is another form of energy that is generated from sun. Let's look at how energy can be converted <coughs> from one form and another. This energy conversion and transformation is the ability of a form of energy to be converted to another form. Example, chemical energy can be converted to other forms of energy like mechanical, sound, light, and heat energy, and all the rest. How can we achieve a chemical, how can we achieve mechanical energy from chemical energy? We can achieve this from doing our daily activities after eating our meal. Remember, when you have not eaten for a very long time, you will not have strength to do other activities like the running, the walking, and other things. So by us walking, running, and doing other of our daily activities after eating, it shows that the chemical nutrients contained in the food has been converted to mechanical energy. There is another way we can convert our chemical energy to mechanical energy by starting or propelling the engine of a car using the car battery or petrol diesel as the case may be. You remember, you can't start a car when there is no battery inside and you cannot as well start a car if there is no petrol or diesel depending on the fuel the vehicle uses. So this shows that the chemical energy contained in the petrol or diesel is what is helping the engine of a car to propel. Remember, propelling the engine shows that the engine is moving, changing from one position to the other, which we otherwise term the chemical energy. That is not all. We can as well convert our chemical energy to sound energy. How? We play music every day. We listen to news with the use of a battery radio or battery headset or a rechargeable headset or rechargeable radio. The battery contained in the headset contains what sulfate or sulfide in it, which is an inorganic chemical. So with the use of the battery, when you charge it, you can play music or listen to news, which is sound energy. Light energy can also be gotten from chemical energy by simply using battery or rechargeable torch lamp, just as you use in the hostel. When you recharge or you use a battery, finger battery, you know, you can always see light even in the dark when you put on your torch. This torch lamp or rechargeable torch lamp has generated light energy in the dark. That is not all. We can as well achieve that by igniting our kerosene stove, gas stove, or even lightning words, our candlestick. Remember, in the dark, when you ignite your kerosene stove, you will see light. When you light, ignite your gas stove, you will see light. Candlestick is not left behind. What is giving this light in a kerosene stove is actually the kerosene, which is a fraction of petrol and is a chemical. The same is applicable to gas stove. Without gas, you cannot ignite your gas stove. Without kerosene, you can't ignite your kerosene stove. Let's look at how heat energy is gotten from chemical energy. Remember, when we ignite our kerosene stove and gas stove, or even our candlestick, heat energy is generated. Remember, when you own your stove, the whole environment is heat up. That is how heat energy is generated. And again, 
We can also generate heat from using battery or rechargeable torch. How? When we on the torch, you feel the side of the lamp. The lamp here is the bulb side. That environment is always hot. That is heat energy being generated from chemical energy. Let's look at conversion of electrical energy to light energy, sound energy, heat energy, and so many of them. Electrical energy we know is the energy gotten from electricity. The electricity in our house, remember, is what we otherwise call the NEPA. Yes, when you see light, you say, wow, up NEPA. Light energy can be achieved by switching on our electric bulb or electric lamp. We always do that in the house. Sound energy can be observed in the use of electric radio or electric television. Remember, when there is light, as we always say, that light there is what? Electrical energy. We on what? Our radio. We hear sound. When we on our television, we hear sound. This sound energy generated from electrical energy. That is not all. Let's look at how heat energy can as well be generated from electrical energy. We always iron our clothes. We always boil water using our boiling ring. We always cook with our hot plates. What do we achieve? Heat energy. From where? From electrical energy. When we plug our hot plates or pressing iron or our boiling ring in a socket, we achieve what? Heat energy. This is a simple way we can achieve electrical energy from heat energy. Chemical energy. This is simply done by using elevator or what we otherwise call lift. Remember, as we said, mechanical energy is the change of a body's position from one place to the other. The lift we otherwise call the elevator will carry you from a particular position to another position on earth. Have you visited Everyday Emporium? At GRA in Port Harcourt, you will see what they call lifts or elevator. Visit spa, you will see such. This is what elevator is like. It's a mechanical energy gotten from electrical energy. How do we know that it's gotten from electrical energy? When you get in there and the so-called NEPA, as we usually call them, take light what will happen you just talk in there that shows without the electrical energy such mechanical energy will not be achieved let's look at how electrical energy can give us wind energy we always on our fan what are we trying to get cool breeze and remember the breeze helps us to what breathe well and as we breathe well we live well now chemical energy is not left behind from electrical energy think of it we always charge our phones we always charge our batteries by charging the phone we are building energy in the battery from electricity ask your mommies ask your daddies without electricity their phones won't be charged and without their phones being charged, such chemical energy in the phone will not be there. So my children, I believe you have learned one today. In our next class, we will look at how other forms of energy could be transformed to other. Remain blessed, stay home, stay safe. Do not, remember, do not forget your assignment. Remember, you are to submit your assignments on the email address below. The assignments are, one, state how mechanical energy 
can be converted to heat energy. Two, state house solar energy can be 